Hello again, it's Joey John McGuire. I'm in my uh, local Weatherspoons watering hole. Been coming here for a lot of years, 10 years, and off and on. A wonderful pub. It's on the first floor up the escalator, uh, just inside um, Fulham Broadway Underground Station Shopping Centre. Uh, like I said, lovely pub, well run. Beautiful stuff, every one of them. Uh, recommended. That's on uh, Fulham Road, uh, Fulham, London, United Kingdom. I'm about to recite my latest poem, which as per usual I wrote in the early hours of this morning. It's called The Demon in the Closet. The door of the closet keeps opening slightly. I'm sure there's something sinister in there watching, keeping me awake at night. Often I dare not close my eyes for fear. I think that's why I am always tired. The building has many rooms and corridors. All the walls are brilliant white. I've been told it's my job, my job alone, to paint them. I am aware that it is a titanic task, a bit like the fourth bridge. I've been informed I can't go to Stornoway, not until I've completed my task. All the books are to be in order, on the shelves in their rightful place. No dust, Joey, no dust. I feel I'm being bullied. It's something I'm used to. I'm always being bullied, and there is a man measuring me for a suit. I never wear a suit. Everyone knows that, and anyway, it's the wrong colour. I only wear blue or grey to match the tone of my skin and the colour of my eyes, and it's too long, but he's not listening. He says we can compromise if I just stand still to be measured, so I change my stance from having none of it to having trousers of a different colour. No one wants a Pyrrhic victory, do they? He's still not Beth's best pleased, says I'm not fit to see the Queen, and threatens if I don't behave, he's going to throw me into the closet with the demons. After all, they are mine, and I am terrified. I omitted to tell you all the books I can see on the shelves are mine. It seems there's one for every day of my life, row upon row, and good Lord, I breathe a sigh of relief because at the end of the longest corridor I can just see an empty shelf tucked away and standing on its own with a sign above it saying summary. I am being pushed and steered towards it against my will I'll have you know. They keep telling me everything's going to be all right but I'm fed up of all the patronizing head tapping so I fill my lungs to capacity and scream aloud and surprise surprise no one comes to my rescue. The white walls give this place an air of asylum. There is a chill of unknown origin. Suddenly it dawns on me, there appear to be no doors. I have no means of exit, no way out, with no hope, and I'm going in the wrong direction. I keep telling them I'm supposed to be going to Stornoway, but no one seems to be listening. They just keep taunting and prodding me, pointing me in the direction of the sign, which because I'm getting closer I can see it reads, this shelf is reserved for Joey John McGuire, the final chapter. Incidentally, that's when I realize the demon in the closet is Definitely me, the child locked under the stairs, and the row upon row of books are my cries for help that over time have formed the corridors of my life. Strange poem, eh?